everyone, Brenda Summers, Independent Sunsy Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over empties and partial empties that I've been enjoying for the last month or so. I just don't melt a lot of wax, so here's my rendition of empties. It's empties and partial empties, so we'll get started. I won't go over scent notes only because um, it'll take forever. <laughs> to go over scent notes. Um, yes, I did get my hair cut. Yes, my bangs are too short and I lost six inches, so <laughs> half a foot of hair. So yeah, I needed it though. My poor hair was like splitty and uh, it was disgusting. So it feels a lot better, it's softer. I just have to wait for my bangs to come in. Um, so. <laughs> that answers that question. Okay, I'm going to be reviewing um, the, um, oh, what is it? Dazzling You? No, Glamorous You Collection, sorry. And I did go through the warming process, but I did not warm this bar because it still smells like wax to me, unfortunately. So sweet but furious. I would love to be able to smell it, but um, so I did not do a warm review on it because it still smells like wax to me. So I'm going to cure it for a little bit longer and see what happens. But has anyone else had the same problem? Um, it just smells like wax or plastic. Anyways, that's dead last only because I can't smell the wax. And then the Born to Shine would be the fourth one. I got through three of that. It was interesting warmth, um, very light on cold, and then it intensified as I warmed it. It was like a light to medium, um, not one of my favorites. Um, it just didn't sit too well with me, so I'll enjoy the rest of it, but would I repurchase this one? No, um, too bad though, born to shine. And then my third um, wax out of the um, Glamour Shoe would be Keep It Sassy. I only did one because it was actually pretty powerful. On uh, cold or light, it was, um, on cold sniff, it was pretty light. But then when I melted it, you could really smell it. So I did it in my downstairs bathroom. It did fine. Um, I liked it, but I didn't like it. Um, it was okay. Um, just okay. Nothing spectacular. But it did last for um, three to four days. So um, keep it sassy if anybody really likes that one. It's a good performer. Um, the next one out of it was with Grace. I loved it, I think, on cold. But... Um, on warm, it was very, very light. It was hard to really smell it. I had it in a large warmer and a small warmer. I melted through three. Um, I liked it. I wish that it was stronger. So um, With Grace is a very pretty, um, beautiful scent. It went well in my bedroom. I really loved it. Um, hummed in the background, but like I said, I wish it was a little bit um, stronger. But it performed well, um, other than towards the third day, um, it kind of dissipated. So did better in my bathroom. So I would keep this in very small rooms or like a bathroom setting, but very pretty. I really like that one. And then the, this one, I said right off the bat, it was a medium. It was a powerhouse when I warmed it. It turned a little bit different when I warmed it. The grapefruit came out um, in some of the florals. My husband had to turn it off though because it gave him a migraine. So that tells you the intensity of this one. But this was my favorite out of the four or five of the Glamour Shoe. So Powerhouse lasted more than three days. So um, yeah, I warmed three. So that's what I got through most recently. And then I got through a bathroom cleaner, aloe water and cucumber. I love this. I love the bathroom cleaner. 
it's so fresh so mild but yeah you can smell it it's like a spa type um, product it's aloe water and cucumber pond frond and I think sweet nectarine so very good for your bathroom I really love it in the wax too but I like it in the bathroom cleaner so I got through one of those and then I got through various um, dryer discs um, mind you I did give them out as samples some of them and then some of them I did use so two boxes of pink cotton this is a very nice um, but light scent if you like um, lavender cotton this is the sister to lavender cotton a very subdued um, it's like cloudy raspberries fruit that type of thing um, it was light though so um, got through two of those and then the lavender cotton I found to be the strongest I really love that lavender cotton lavender um, linen um, laundry kind of scent so recommend lavender cotton jammy time I gave out as samples because I don't like jammy time and shimmer I gave out as samples so I got through those shimmer is like a soft berry type um, pretty um, kind of scent it's in the body line a lot um, it hasn't been in the wax form for a long time and then jammy time is like um, freesia and lavender and something else um, the little white flowers I forget what they're called but it's not my favorite but it is strong so um, that's all I can say about the dryer discs um, and then as far as empties go, I got through a walnut raisin muffin, no longer available. It was, I think, last October's scent of the month. I really liked it, but it was very, very light. Um, hummed in the background really well. Um, kind of dissipated in an open um, concept. If you put it in a mini warmer, you could smell it more. So it's a bakery kind of smell um, or scent. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it though because it's very light, but if you're one of those people that like light scents, then I could recommend Walnut Raisin Muffin. So very nice bakery. And then the one that I wish that they would have brought back was Gingerbread Donut. Of course, of all the things that I fell in love with, I lost out because I was um, late to the party again and I fell in love with this. So I finally got through this. Ginger, it's bread. It smells like a donut. I loved it. It's bakery. It was light to medium, but I didn't care. It lasted a couple days, but I was still enjoying it. It's a bakery. So if it ever comes back, you should try gingerbread donut. Um, next one that I got through was um, chamomile daisy. I liked it better on warm than I did on cold. So it performed really, really well. It lasted three to four days in a big um, open warmer and then did really well in the mini like mini warmers so last it a little bit longer last it more than five days so I was really happy with that that's from life's a garden so uh, it was very light on um, cold but it intensified as I warmed it so I was very happy with that and then um, what else did I get through I think everything else is just partials now so I was enjoying Mojito Mumbo. It's a nice zesty lime um, kind of scent. Um, very, um, I could say fruity. It reminds you of the Mojito kind of drink and it's good for the summer. So I've gone through various bars, but I'm still working through this one. And I believe I still have some in my stash. And then, oh, found some more empties. Apple Cherry Cider. So this one, yeah, I could take it or leave it. You could smell the apples. You could really smell the cherries on cold. Um, did, not my favorite in, in warming. It lasted about two to three days. Um, dissipated in a large warmer. Did better in a mini warmer. But yeah, not my favorite. So it's kind of a bakery scent. I know a lot of people that really love that though. So. Another one that I really, really loved and fell in love with and then late to the party, um, Sticky Cinnamon Bun. It smelled like um, 
cinnamon. It smelled it like bakery. It smelled like buns. And I really, really like it. It had cinnamon. It's along the same lines as gingerbread donut, but it's got that cinnamon note to it and it smells wonderful. Not the strongest, but not the weakest. So this lasted about three days in a large warmer and about the same in a mini warmer. It dissipated uh, a lot, but I would actually repurchase this because I did enjoy it and it's bakery. So that's new for me. This one, Rainforest. Um, loved it in the clamshell, hated it when I warmed it because I couldn't smell it. It dissipated like so fast um, in a large warmer it did nothing it fizzled out right away and then in a small warmer it just I think it didn't even get through a day so I would not recommend this one if it ever came back it was rainforest um it was like a fresh kind of vi vibrant green kind of scent it smelled better in the clamshell to be honest and then like I said it was kind of a dud so, wah, wah. Um, so I would not recommend Rainforest, but that's just me and my nose and my environment. Atlantic Air. At the beginning, I really, really loved this. And then I got warming it more and more and more, and it brought out the sea salt in it, and it just did not sit well with me as I warmed through it. It kind of made me sick, but it's that kind of fresh sea salt, um, aquatic kind of vibe, and I normally love it, but because of the sea salt or the salt coming out i did not enjoy it so heavy hitter though it did really really well you could really smell it in a big warmer and a small warmer um three to four days if not a little bit longer in a mini warmer so for me no but for someone that likes aquatic and sea salt variations and i forget what other scent notes then i could recommend atlantic air but i would not repurchase it for myself and then Aladdin. When the Aladdin collection came out, I fell in love with a friend like me. So I bought like four or five or six of these. And now I'm enjoying it again. And it's really, really good. I really enjoy it in my bathroom. It's fruity. Um, I really can't say much more because about it. Um, yeah, so it warmed really, really well. It's a Disney scent, though. It was light to medium. It only lasted a few days. Three, I think, at the most in a large warmer and about that in a mini warmer. So, like with all Disney scents, they're pretty much light. Um, they don't last very long. There have been other Disney scents lately that have done really, really well, and they're powerful. So, yes, I would recommend this. I would buy it again. Um, a friend like me. And then um, another one picked for you. It was part of the Mother's Day collection, I think, 2020. Um, not what I thought it would be. Um, I think it has grapefruit and florals and something else. I did not like it warmed. Um, it was about a medium throw. Um, so I'm trying to get through it. I did it in a large warmer and a small warmer and... No, um, it did not sit well with everybody in my household. So Pick For You was not for me, but if you love Pick For You, I'm glad. It's a nice floral one. Peppermint Dreams. I have other bars of Peppermint Dreams. This just happened to be part of the O Canada um, collection. And this is like a Junior Mint um, Hits the Warmer. Very pepperminty, very chocolate. Not much more I can say. I really, really love it. The intensity of the mint and the chocolate comes out. Um, it was about a medium. Um, yeah, about a medium in cold and about a medium in, in strength when warmed. But it was really, really nice. It's really nice on a cold um, fall day when you just want to get warm and cozy. It's like... Um, junior mints it's like mint patties it's very very nice if you like those scent notes and I'm just slowly enjoying that one um, another one that I got through was autumn from the frozen collection too I really really love this um, I think it was pumpkins um, 
I think so. Pumpkins and leaves and apples and every the epitome of fall. I really, really loved this one. I enjoyed it. It was um, light to medium. It lasted about three days. Same with the mini warmer. Um, I would repurchase this one. It was very, very nice. Um, very fall scent oriented. So that's autumn. A dancing. A dance of autumn. Sorry. <laughs> I got through. So I really enjoyed that one. Another um, empty was Ice Hotel. And to me, this smelled like turkey stuffing. I don't know why it did, but to me, it has like a rancid kind of strong smell to it. And then it, it kind of reminds me of sage and turkey stuffing. So I did not like that. I thought I would. Um, cold sniff. I kind of liked it, but then as I melted it, uh-uh. So if you like those kind of components, it's like a aquatic kind of fresh kind of scent. Um, with a lot of salt to it again. So that's Ice Hotel. I would not be repurchasing it. But if you like it, that's great. My lo one love is Lavender Cotton. It's lavender, it's cotton, it's got berries in it or it's fruity. I really, really love it. Very strong, powerful laundry scent that I can recommend. Very strong in the clamshell, very strong in the warmers. It lasts more than five days in the large warmer and a little bit more in a mini warmer. It just goes and goes and goes. And I really, really love this one. I love it in the other products as well. So lavender cotton, yes, that would be a repurchase. And then my tower fell over. And then this one was kind of interesting. It um, warmed a little bit differently than um, in the cold clamshell. It's Life's the Garden Pineapple Mint. Um, I could smell the mint. I could smell the pineapple in here. And then it warmed and it kind of did not um, smell very well. So I had to take it out of my warmer right away. It just didn't smell like what it smelled like in the um, clamshell. So no, this would not be a repurchase if I had a chance to warm it again. Um, it was, it threw really well though, but I turned it off before the scent even dissipated. So <laughs> I think it would warm a little bit longer, about a three to four day period. And then I'm going through Lavender Cotton, the wax bar. And I really, really love this. And I just had one in my empties. So you know how I feel about lavender cotton. And then I'm enjoying pina colada cha-cha. Can't say enough. Um, it has the colada. It has like the rum kind of smell. It has the creaminess. Great for the um, summer. It reminds you of a pina colada. I really, really love this one. So I think this might be my last bar. I might have some in my stash. I don't know. I forget what I have in my stash. Um, so Pina Colada I would recommend, and I'm still enjoying that one. And then Christmas Cottage. It's getting old. I have to use it up. But Christmas Cottage is the epitome of Christmas. Very, very nice. It's that cinnamon, um, kind of Christmassy kind of scent. Go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or anything like that. This would be the smell that you would um, smell. So very, very nice. But this is getting old. So I've got to get through this. So, but I probably have one in my, one or two in my, um, <laughs> in my stash. Sorry. Um, I've lost my train of thought. Um, so yes, I would recommend, um, Christmas Cottage is about a medium throw. It throws really nice in a large warmer. Um, throws even better in a small warmer. Yes, yes, yes. If you like the um, cinnamon, kind of spicy kind of sense of Christmas, you'll love Christmas Cottage. And then, Welcome Summer. Well, got through one. I don't like this. Um, it's okay. Um, some of the smells come out. It's, I think, a, a floral kind of scent. I don't remember. But I only did it in a mini warmer. It was very light. So I'm trying to get through that. But 
they've only gone through one cube so I really can't recommend that one and then jeweled pomegranate I'm still trying to get through that as far as pomegranate scents it's okay um, the jewel part I don't know um, in my warmers though ugh, I did not like it warmed it's okay on cold so this one I didn't really let um, warm very well so I don't even know what I'm going to do with these um, it warms okay but not for me so if you liked pomegranate scents the jewel part I don't even know what that is then you'll like um, jeweled pomegranate I don't um, pretty and plum I've gone through a few bars of these this is plum bakery um, crust type thing or a bun kind of smell um, very bakery really love it um, about a medium in my large warmer and um, in my mini warmer it did a little bit better it was a little bit stronger so lasted about three days um, maybe four in my mini warmer so I could recommend this I got this on a flash sale so um, I'm really happy that I was able to pick up I think I bought six or eight or something like that so I like this better than the um, sugar plum pastry or I forget that one sweet sweet plum pastry I like this one a lot better to be honest um, it's not so overpowering I love the plum scent to this I love the bakery notes so pretty and plum would be a recommend Olaf and hugs oh I've only gone through one um, this is a love-hate relationship I think the clamshell was done really really well but very light on the mint tea-ness of this um, dissipated in my mini warmer really really fast so I didn't even smell um, the mint and I for the creamy vanilla and something else to this so very disappointed in this so it was another want want but what can you do right and then Another one, Mineral Oasis. I really loved it on cold, but as I warmed it, it's a lot better than Atlantic Air in Ice Hotel. It's kind of got like a fresh aquatic kind of scent again without the salt. So it's okay. It lasts it. it it's kind of a heavy hitter. It lasts um, four to five days, a little bit longer in the mini warmer, but not one of my favorites. Uh, I don't think I would repurchase this, but what can you can you do? The Mixa collection, I'm kicking myself that I didn't pick up more, more of grapefruit and orange. I really, really love this one. It's orange, it's grapefruit. Um, it's getting juicy, so I'm gonna have to use it up. Um, and then I think vanilla or something else, but I really love this one. This one went well three to four days in my open concept, a little bit longer in my mini, but loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And of course I was late to the party, so I did not put it in my Scentsy Club or buy any more. So if it ever comes up for repurchase, I would buy that. So again, and then Lee, Born to Lead, it's kind of along the same lines as, um, not quite as um, dan Dancing with Autumn, along the same line. I think this would be the sister to it. Very fall, very nice, um, very and pumpkin-y and leaves and spices. So highly recommend that one. Um, it's light though, um, light to kind of a medium when you warm it about three days same with the mini warmer so I do like it I would repurchase it and then I did not like this at the beginning mythic journey from the frozen 2 collection but I ended up falling in love with it I ended up putting it in my bathroom uh, I liked it better in my bathroom than I did it in an open concept it did really really well in a mini warmer and it lasts more than five days but it's a very sweet kind of aquatic kind of um eerie kind of scent um fresh it was really really good so a lot better on warm than it was on cold so um 
Mythic Journey. And I don't know if I have any more in my stash. And then the next one, I would not recommend this one, Cozy Cabin. Same with Rainforest. It kind of dissipated. I tried it with two cubes in my mini warmer, actually, and it just flopped. Um, I can't even smell it, and it's already juicing. Um, can hardly smell it. Very light, dissipated. It was kind of a womp womp again. So that's Cozy Cabin. Would not recommend it. And then another one that I'm trying to get through, and I've gone through many bars of this, is Whiteout. It's very nice. It's got that mint. It's got like uh, frostiness to it. I think it has vanilla in it. I love it. Whiteout. And I've gone through one bar of that. Aladdin, Arabian Nights. A lot of people like it. I don't really smell it. Um, same in the warmer. So it's kind of a dud too. So Arabian Nights do not do well in my environment. But a lot of people like it. The very light. Like I can't even smell it hardly here. So kind of a disappointment again. And then another one. Havana Cabana. I've gone through one. This is an old bar. Um, not my favorite. It's pineapple. It's fruity. Um, yuck. I got it in a de-stash and I don't know. I might throw it out. Who knows? I might um, mix it with a vanilla scent. I don't know, but not one of my favorites. I think I did buy a new bar when Havana Cabana came out and it, pff, no, not for me. Um, you would think I would love it. And then, yeah, still got partials here. So you might as well call this a partial <laughs> empties. Um, still enjoying the princess one. Ha happily ever after. I'm picking myself that I still haven't, um, I didn't buy a lot. But very floral, very pretty, very nice, very sweet. I like that one. Um, lemon Time Berry, I did like this one. The um, lemon came out, um, but at the end I didn't like it so much because the time came out. So I liked it when it initially warmed and then towards the end, which would have been like the fourth day, I had to take it out. It performed really, really well, like a medium. So did well in an open concept, did well in a mini warmer, but I didn't like the back end of it um, towards the end. So because of that time kind of, um, freshness to it, I did not like it. Another one that I'm going through is lemon verbenia. I love this one. It's kefir limes, lemons, and something else. And I really, really love this one. I think this might be one of my last bars of it, but, um, it's along the same lines as aloe vera, Aloe water and cucumber, but stronger. Um, it's in between coconut lemongrass and um, squeeze the day. But this has like kefir limes in it. And I really, really like this one. So, and then the next one that I missed out on again is from the Mixed It Collection. I really fell in love with this one, but I missed out on it again was Huckleberry and Pe Peony. Um, very nice, very peony, honeysuckle and peony. Really like the honeysuckle, really like the peony. It was about a medium. It lasted about three or four days in my warmer um, open concept and a little bit longer in my minis. And then another one, apple parsley. I did really like this one. It's from the Life's a Garden. Um, I liked it in the clamshell, and then it dissipated really, really bad in my warmer. So I can't say that I loved it warmed, but I really loved it cold. But I would not repurchase this one. And then Pink Sugar Mint. That was like, I think, la this last um, March's, 2021's, scent of the month. And I really liked this. This was like um, mint. It was like a sugary kind of um, berry kind of scent. I can't even get it open. And I really did like it. Um, light to medium. It lasted um, about three to four days, half decently. 
Uh, it hummed in the background, very pretty, so I could recommend Pink Sugarberry Mint. And then another one, I'm running out of time here, Fresh Cut Daisies was a big surprise. I really, really loved it warm. Um, I didn't like it so much cold, so I'm really, um, I guess, hoarding this one because I really do like it. Um, it did well. It was light to medium. did well in an open concept in a big warmer and a small warmer. So that's Fresh Cut Daisies. And then another one that I really, really love is Sea Salt and Avocado. And I've gone through many bars of these. It's Sea Salt, it's Avocado and Valencia Oranges, I believe. So that's Sea Salt and Avocado. Uh, heavy header, um, strong, strong. When you warm it, you know that you're warming it. So it's really, really good. And then Strawberry Basil um, from the Life's... Life's a Garden. Uh, I liked it in the clamshell. Did not like it. Warmed. Kind of fizzled. So I was kind of disappointed in that. And then Grapefruit and Gardenia. I really love that. This one. The Grapefruit comes out. The Gardenia. Very strong. Um, did well in an open concept. And did well in a mini warmer. But this one I can't um, warm with anybody else around. Because they're really sensitive to it. So I really love it though. The grapefruit comes out, the peony, is it? The gardenia comes out. So I could highly recommend that one. And then Be Fabulous was part of some collection um, or the scent of the month last year, 2020, I believe. Very pretty wax. It's okay in the um, clam. Um, on warm, I did not like it. It kind of made me sick to my stomach. But I'm getting through it, so be fabulous. I don't know, certain scent notes just don't sit well with me. And last but not least is Lucky in Love. Really love this one. It's like a romantic kind of scent. It's very pretty, very powdery. Love it in my be bedroom. Love it in my bathroom, actually, too. So that's Lucky in Love from Bring Back My Bar. And that's it for my partials and my empties for the last month or so. So thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me um, going over that. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Take care. Catch you on the flip side. Bye for now.